y'all welcome back to my channel in this video we're going to be discussing saints and sinners season six episode eight my soul to take which is the final episode of the series i'm so sad that this show is ending because it's one of my favorite shows shout out to the cast everybody has given stellar performances throughout these seasons the writing on the show is terrific and the directing everything everybody that had a hand in putting this show together kudos to you guys we are having our fingers crossed hoping that we're going to get a spinoff or something because i mean this show is just this is good television so the show starts off and you know ray ray and jabari and their crew they done surrounded the safe house that um lady ella and rex is, are at so you know we all wondering like what's going to happen does rex have his crew surrounding everybody that got snipers from the trees or something how they going to get out of this come to find out rex got tunnels and stuff leading out of his safe house so that's how they get now i'm like okay all right rex he got a plan a b c and d i know that's right and so you know last episode we knew that he was calling for kendrick and so i'm like what kendrick gonna do but you know he had the perfect task for kendrick which is serve as the getaway driver yeah that's what i'm talking about <laughs> We also check back in with Krista because, you know, she, she's being she's still being held by Dr. Ross. He about to try to take her kidney and give it to Leona. So, you know, we're trying to figure out if Leona with it or not because she's seeming very excited. But she slides Christy a little something, something. So I'm thinking, okay, she done gave this to Christy to try to shank the doctor or something, right? And get out. No. She's, you know, playing Dr. Ross to try to get the formula and everything. And I guess the little scalpel was for Christy to try to break free of her hand ties. And who comes to save the day? Levi. I was so happy to see Levi save the day. And he caught his first body. Yes kudos to you levi he took dr ross out and it didn't even take much work at all either he was shocked at first he was like oh he's not breathing yeah no that, that's what it feels like to kill somebody <laughs> we finally see what the aftermath of that car accident from last episode was so angela she ends up in the hospital and i just knew that baby was dead you know she had a miscarriage or something but Pistol Paige, she uh <laughs> she shows up because Tam told Jabari, you know, that Angela was in a car accident. So she shows up and she's ready to swab um Angela right there and try to find out who's the pappy. I'm like, what in the world? I'm telling you what, Angela got nine lives. But R.I.P. Josie, man. She went out like a cuckoo bird, but, you know, I enjoyed the crazy ride, and I think that Miles enjoyed it, too, <laughs> whether or not he wants to admit it. But, yeah, Josie left the earth, and I just know her ghost was probably trying to fight him and Tam when they had that little moment at the hospital where Tam was apologizing and taking credit for all the drama that was going on between her and Miles and saying that, you know, she should have let Josie take care of Miles and she was being so selfish and stuff. It was anybody else confused at the fact that now Miles can walk. Like, you know, he just got out of a coma. He was confined to a wheelchair and then he was in a very bad car accident right but now all of a sudden he can walk up out of his wheelchair what you know and dr ross ain't shoot him up with nothing like you know levi so i i'm just confused by the whole thing kendrick got his mama and his daddy together at the safe house <laughs> rex and ella baby they, they up there chilling canoodling and stuff like ella ain't worried about nothing like ella is just team unbothered <laughs> She's sleeping well at night, you know, regardless of the fact that Ray Ray is trying to kill her. And then they bring Christy and Leona to the safe house and stuff. And um, Christy ends up telling 
Ella that Leona actually saved her because Ella, Ella looking like, what Leona doing here? You know, your son trying to kill me. And I'm so glad that we get to see, you know, during this season, we saw a different side of Leona. Because before, I mean, that lady, she was a type of crazy that we had never seen before. I was like, man, this woman is wicked. But, you know, she really does care about her family. And a lot of things that she did, she did in order to protect her family. And, you know, she like, you know, I might have... Ray, I made a gay birth to Ray Ray, but you my family. I'm going to hold it down. Ray Ray done run up in Anna's house and then threatened her with a, free, a female henchman. That's the first time I ever saw a female henchman. I got to give it to him. He's a gentleman. He might be a thug, but he a gentleman. He, he didn't put his hands on Anna, but he got his thug to carry the message with the hammer. And he used her to get Kendrick because he... She was supposed to kill Kendrick, but she couldn't do it. You know, I'm, I'm glad that Anna had a, a change of heart. But, yeah, use Anna to get Kendrick and then using Kendrick as bait for Rex, <laughs> which is the big fish right there. Why Kendrick didn't let Lady Ella and Rex know that he was going to try to um, save Anna from Ray Ray, I have no idea. Probably because he didn't want them to try to keep you know, him away from him, but he, he should have known he was going into a trap. So, I mean, he should have used them to help him come up with a plan, but, you know, he got his own plan. Leona, she had me about to shed a couple thug tears. I ain't gonna lie. When she sat and she gave her two speeches, you know, one to Lady Ella and then the other to Christy, you know, she was apologizing to Lady Ella for all the hurt and pain and drama that she done brought to her life. And then she was telling Christy how, you know, proud of her she was and how she turned out. I was just like, oh, my God, I was so moved and just, you know, almost made me shed a tear to, to see somebody that didn't show any compassion or real love and just was doing real sinister stuff to you know show her soft side and stuff like that I really enjoyed that performance that Donna Briscoe gave and that's my first time ever seeing her um in a series and I, I definitely enjoyed her performance throughout this whole every season she just she brought it for real um Jasmine Burke too is my first time ever um seeing her I, I enjoyed her performance and of course Vanessa Bell Calloway oh yeah I love her as well the whole cast but yeah definitely those two scenes where she was where where lady where Leona was speaking to uh Christy and then you know to Lady Ella as well that that really touched my heart so when Rex went to go confront Ray Ray and save Kendrick you know, of course, he's confronted by Jabari. And Jabari's sitting up there, you know, Ray Ray told him, like, shoot him. He done killed your daddy and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Let him go. So Jabari's still looking for answers as far as what happened um, to his father, you know, why Rex took him out. So Rex finally admits that Jabari's father was an informant, so he had to take him out. And we, a lot of us, we already figured that Jabari wasn't going to be able to off Rex because that man was... You know, he practically raised him. So he puts the gun down, and then Ray Ray punches him, and he gets emotional. That's the first time that we see emotional. He's like, you know, like your son and stuff. Like He actually gets upset that Rex is looking at Jabari as his, his son, and, you know, he didn't take care of him as a child. But, of course, Rex didn't know that he had Ray Ray, you know, as a child, because if so, it would have been totally different. It was, like, something totally different that we I was not expecting from his character. I did not expect him to care about. I guess he was trying to front and stuff like he didn't care about having a father and stuff, but he really did care. And so just like Leona was telling Ella at the beginning of the episode how it's, you know, the birth child versus the child that, you know, the the person the parent actually raised, that's what happened between Jabari and Ray Ray. They go toe to toe. They fighting against each other and Rex got the gun. He got to decide, you know, who to shoot, where to shoot and stuff. We see a shot go off, and at first my heart dropped. I said, oh, no, no, Jabari, no, no, Jabari. Well, of course, it was Ray Ray, you know. It was nice to see that he actually, you know, 
did have a softer side to him, but oh well, you know, it was his time to go, and he died with his eyes open, and y'all know what that means. When you die with your eyes open, they what they say is, what I've always heard is, if you die with your eyes open, that means that you deserved it. <laughs> and he definitely had it coming with everything that he was doing. Ray Ray was able to do some good with his death. He was able to give the miracle of life by being an organ donor. Christy was able to give Leona Ray Ray's kidney so she was able to survive. You know, Christy was working real hard at the hospital because um, Angela, that sneaky little snake, she just slipped out of the hospital before Paige could complete the DNA test. So Paige ended up persuading Christy to um, do a roundabout DNA test with some lab results that they already had. And, of course, everybody knew Jabari was not the father. <laughs> So then we all left wondering, hmm, I wonder who it could be. But I'm so proud of Kendrick. He was able to, you know, help him and Anna escape. You know, there was a hiccup at the end, but they was both, you know, able to pull together. And then Lady Ella pulls up in the SUV. They dip off. I'm just sitting here wondering, what in the world is Lady Ella going to do? You know, what what's going to be the future of her? So she's sitting back watching the news broadcast and Tony Hayden's up there and he's giving, you know, his little spiel about her being a wanted woman. And if anybody has any information on her whereabouts to turn her in, this lady calls the tip line herself. She speaks to Tony and she's like, yeah, I'm going to give you my coordinates right now. So Tony pulls up with, you know, the police squad. It's a whole bunch of police women i'm like i know that's right you know because if it got to get, get physical i guess they'd rather have a woman police officer get physical with ella but anyway <laughs> ella comes out like a g with her hands up and stuff and i'm like dang she's just gonna go like that then she turns around runs back in the house i'm like oh my god what's gonna happen and then kaboom <laughs> the whole house blows up i'm like what but, of course, we see at the end of the show, Rex and Ella, they sipping Mai Tais on a foreign island or something. She done went out like a G and faked her death. Kudos to Lady Ella. And I'm just so happy with the way that the show ended. Everybody had their happy endings. It seemed like everything went full circle. Practically, everybody ended up at the church, you know, during church service. Levi and Christy, they had their little moment. And Levi reveals that he's giving half the church to Christy, you know, returning it back to her family because her family is the one that founded the church, which is great because Christy really did have a good heart. She had some troubling moments in the past, but, you know, she's a she's a better person. She's went through a lot of things. So it's great to see that the family is, you know, back in the church so yeah they embracing everything's all sweet and then here goes slimy angela and up again she rubbing that belly she giving levi the eye levi looking like oh damn because we know what that means he the pappy she probably done found out that he's the daddy and i'm looking at levi like why are you looking so surprised you know you had to bent over on your office desk and y'all was doing the nasty you was wearing the contenders yeah <laughs> Kendrick's back at the church as well. I'm glad that he survived because, you know, he had a tough go at it. His life was threatened by Leona on various occasions. He was even buried alive at one point, but he survived and he got heart. We was able to see that, you know, he's not as dumb as we, we think he is. You know what I'm saying? He got a lot of heart. He even got Anna into the church and everything. So proud of him. Leona shows up all spiffy and sparkling with her diamonds and her furs and everything. I still think Leona got a little bit of devil up in her. And now that she got this new kidney uh, and this new lease on life, she's still probably going to be up to some mischief. And then we even get to see Pistol Paige and Jabari. And then they revealed that Paige is pregnant. Because at first I didn't know what was going to happen when she started, you know, getting dizzy at the hospital with Christy. And I guess they ran some tests and they revealed that she's actually going to have another child. Jabari and Paige are going to have another child. And I love them together, Bonnie and Clyde. I wouldn't be mad if they did a Pistol Paige and Jabari spinoff. They really should do it. But anyway, Miles and Tab, they end up at church service together and they lighten them. I don't know what they was lighting. Was it incense? It won't a candle or something. <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, they lit something for Josie and stuff. And they end up holding hands together. I said, I know that Josie over there, she rolling around in her grave. But you know, you, you can't fight love. They done been through some things and stuff. But you know, brought them closer together. Been through a traumatic event. And that brought, it, brought them together. So she did some good too. Overall, I really enjoyed this show. And it is bittersweet to see it end. But I'm, I'm happy with the way that it ended. Like, I wouldn't want to change anything. So drop down in the comment section if you've had a chance to watch the finale and let me know what you all think. And also don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I make an upload. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.